other type of measure of variability that is called coefficient of variation. This is also one kind of measure of variability, but this is the relative variability. This is the relative magnitude of standard deviation in terms of mean. So when you divide the standard deviation in terms of mean, that will become coefficient of variation. This is one of the important measure of variability. This is used to know the consistency of the data. So when you compare the two or more group, you can know which group is more consistent. So mainly a uh, measure of coefficient of variation used to compare two or more than two group. So what do you understand by consistency? The consistency means the uniformity of the values of the data. How data are uniform, how data are similar. Okay, uniform means similarity, how they are similar. Similar means less, vari less variation, less difference. Okay, how data are similar, this is the mean uh, consistency, how they are similar from the uh, arithmetic mean. So uh, when, uh, between the, when there is a smaller coefficient of variation, it is really more consistent. So more similar, more uniform. An interesting thing, uh, uh, coefficient of variation is unit free, no unit. You can, uh, we, we have to express in percentage, but there is no unit. All the coefficient of variation for any group of data uh, will be in percentage. So as it is unit free, it is very useful to compare two or more different data with different units. So if you have the different data, age of the student in the years, and age, uh, uh, this is the weight of the student in kg. Even the height of the student is centimeter or meter or inchy. So you can compare the three type of data, whose data is more consistent, more similar, although they have different unit. So it doesn't matter, but you can understand how, which data have the more difference, relative difference. So this is a very important measure to compare the variability of data, different unit of data. Uh, income of the people of a country, they have the same unit. Bangladesh income of people normally measured in Taka. If you go to USA, their income is normally measured by dollar. So you cannot compare their income, our income uh, with dollar and Taka. A lot of difference, but when you have to compare the variability, if you use the coefficient of variation, variation then you can compare because there is no unit. So measure of uh, coefficient of variation, CB, it is very important. So let's see the formula, very simple formula. CB denoted by a coefficient of variation denoted by CB, standard deviation divided by mean, multiply by 100, and you will get it because denoted by percentage, you will get the CB. I wrote it. CB less is more consistent, more stable, more uniform. And more mean, uh, when CB is uh, more, that is a more variation, more variability, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll do some practical example, it will be more clear. Let us see example number one. This is the exercise capacity in second. How many second patients uh, are exercised? This is a chronic heart disease uh, failure patient. So how many seconds they are going to exercise? And uh, there is a variation of data you can see. And uh, 906, 100, 320, there is variation of data. How is the variation of data? Percentage of variation data in terms of mean. So if you want to know, so we go calculate the mean, we know how to calculate the mean, you will get 970.5 seconds. And we know how to, you should do yourself, how to calculate the standard deviation. Uh, 2.1173 second. So if we do what, if you do the calculation, you will get coefficient of variation or CB of this data will be 21.68 percentage. What is the meaning of this? Please remember the comment. The relative difference in the uh, average, in the variation, we got the square difference. In the standard deviation, we got the simple difference or absolute difference. But for the CB or coefficient of variation, we are getting relative difference of what? Of exercise capacity of the patient in terms of average is 21.68 percentage. So relative difference of data in terms of mean or relative to mean is 21.68 percentage. So it will be more interesting when we are going to compare two groups. 
Then you can understand which group is more similar or more consistent than the other. This is really more interesting. So here calculation is done for the two runner is given here. One runner average, uh, average uh, run is 12 miles per week with the standard deviation of two miles. And another runner average uh, running per week is 15 miles per week and standard deviation three miles. So we have to compare the uh, consistency of two runners. Which runner is more consistent in weekly running? More similar, they have low, less variation. Which runner? So here you have to use the coefficient of variation. Okay, so put the value for the first runner as the rule standard deviation over mean multiply 100. So standard deviation 2, a mean run is 12, multiply 100 will got is 16.6 percentage. For the second runner, standard deviation we got 3, and mean running. A mile is 15, we'll go to 20. See, first runner mean, although less, and standard deviation 2, we got 16, the second runner, we got 20. Although mean is more, but we got the more variation. So what can you say? Which is less? First runner, coefficient of variation less. So first runner is relatively more consistent because uh, when there is a, less CB, there is less variation. So we can say the first runner is relatively more consistent in the weekly running than the second runner. That is, runner first one is more consistent, although he has less average of running miles. So runner first here is more consistent. Or other word, you can say first runner has a less variability or variation in weekly running than the second runner. So there are some other example three, you can check it and you can make the comment yourself. This will uh, like your homework. I'll put in the problem set. And this is the example number, another example. That will be example number four. You can check it, example number four. And more interesting one will be, there is the other example, example number five. Example number five, there is a rounds of two player. You know the key oh, uh, in the cricket. So some player 100, 20, 30, 50. Then you can compare the two player and which player should you select for the next innings, next match. So interesting, I gave some hints. Please do it, complete the work and we'll come in the discussion board. Uh, this will be less variable. So good luck, do more practice, it'll be more easier. Thus you need to do the practice. I'll try to put more example in the problem. Just put the practice and don't forget to write the comment or interpretation after all type of calculation. This is a very important part of a statistical analysis.